Before we start the video, I just want to say, do you guys remember the little preview we did to the Golden Goose Road to Glory channel the other day? Well, all of my subscribers, all you guys that have been going over in his comment section saying, hey, what's up, man? Bengal sent me. You guys have been enjoying it so much. So if you guys didn't check it out the other day, you should definitely go check it out right now. Link is in the top line of the description for Golden Goose NCAA 14 Road to Glory. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. If you have not clicked it already, give it a look. Check it out. What's going on, guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today. Back for more Ozark State Outlaws. As apparently, as you can see in the bottom right, Ozark State players are happy to return home after a painful road loss. Uh, and you know what? I'm so numb to the pain of losing at this point. I don't think it was that painful overall. But we were molly -whopped, to say the least. However, on the subject of recruiting, I do have some very good news to tell you. One, Derek Higgins and Pete Riley are coming to campus. We have a big lead now, or it's getting to be on Derek Higgins, but you know where the biggest lead is? It's actually at kicker as Pete Riley has unbelievably somehow changed his mind. I don't know where he was going, but he's going to come to Ozark State. I don't know how it happened, but Pete Riley will be an outlaw. As far as athletes go, I think we're probably out of the running on Bobby Caldwell on Greg Fowkes, we're close. Doug Denman, we're close, but he's not that great. And on Colby Spencer, he's a Juco player. I just don't think there's any way we'll be able to get him. I really don't. It's gonna be super, super tough. And he doesn't wanna visit. There's just no way we're gonna be able to get him. Uh, to get him. It's just not gonna be able to happen for me. But Derek Higgins will be our biggest recruit, I think, by far. He is incredible, great coverage, great speed. I think he'll be the best player on our team in a few seasons, absolutely, up near 90 overall. Chris Porter, the quarterback at a New Iberia, Louisiana. He's a player that we are close to be able to get. We are very, very close. Really want to be able to get him. And we're, we're not out of the woods yet on a lot of these players. Some guys are, you know, like, absolutely coming to the team. Other guys, not so much. It is a toss-up, but that's why recruiting is so fun. That's what makes this game so awesome. But we can't worry about recruiting right now too much. We got to worry about the Bobcats. Texas State stands in the way of Ozark State, but we have a home game for the first time in a while. And that means that we can break out new uniforms. What do we have here? Alt? Well, that's the alt helmet. Let's go, let's go alt one jerseys. Ooh, the all orange. Are you guys ready? I don't know if you are. We're actually going to be able to compete, I think, with this team. Maybe even win the game. Pedro Goddard is back in the starting lineup. Should be a good one. Derek Higgins and Pete Riley, both three-star prospects, both coming in today. Those are our goals. We're not going to be able to kick a ball 40 yards in the air. But boy, do these jerseys look sick. We got Ryan Muller there. I know people, oh, it's Mierl, Mueller, like Ferris Bueller. Nah, it's my it's my dynasty. He, I, I talked to him before the game. He said, yeah, it's Muller. <laughs> there we are in the Sun Belt. Actually, not that far behind. This is a big matchup for us because this would actually put us above 500 in conference if we beat the Bobcats. We're not actually out of contention here. We've done better than I thought we would have this year. Texas State, Ozark State, live from Dual Field, and the stadium is actually pretty packed. This is about as full as we've seen it for, you know, a non-Alabama. We played Alabama at home, and that was an absolute disaster, as we are going to start this game kicking. If the defense can play well, I know the offense is going to be able to compete with Texas State. It's all about the defense. That's what needs to step up today. Those players need to step up. And we'll have a really good shot to win. These orange alternates actually look amazing. So I'm a huge fan of that. Chris Outlaw had no idea the ball was even in the air. 
It's a handoff. Get there. Lightning McQueen. Can I get a ka-chow in the comments? Let's go, baby. Pedro Goddard had kind of a weird game last week. He missed a lot of snaps. No touchdowns. It was a bad one, but we're going to look to rebound here today. Muller, right, wide open. There we go. Third down and one. Come on. There's play action. Rolling out. The anticipation. And it was not anticipated well. I really thought the receiver was going to get more separation. Yet it is a pass right to the linebacker. Very frustrating. I need you to get, like, space there. Create space. That's no good. Can we tackle it all? Not really. Jones gonna run. Somebody go after him. Ah, you gotta tackle, please. Gardner ran past him. Oh, wow. Alright, well. I don't know how I can be standing right next to him. Give him a little slap on the ass. Say, hey, nice job. Nice run. How can I be standing right next to him and not get a tackle? Oh, my God. All right, we need to have a much better second drive than our first. Starts with Ryan Muller. He's been a weapon for us and hopefully will continue to be. Needed more separation from the crosser on the first. Uh, the first, I believe it was the first pass. I think we ran the ball twice. Either way, it was an interception. It's not what you want. Got to look to get better. And, oh, my goodness, here is pressure in a big way. Goddard fumbles the ball. And it is recovered by Eddings. What a start for this outlaw offense, if you can even call it that. Going to the sideline. And that's caught by Tyler Watts. Can we have any type of coverage, any reaction? Can you go for the ball, please? Great stuff from the defense. Finally wrapping up and tackling. That's our biggest issue on this team. If you guys see episode in episode out we cannot tackle anybody that's why we lose games we also can't cover really we get no pressure on the quarterback but those are secondary right now if you can't tackle and that's going to be complete it's not it's intercepted unbelievable byron fulton with a blocker in front of him there's a spin move stay on your feet but no it's off the hands of the receiver and scooped up just a hair off the ground by Byron Fulton, a huge playmaker for us at that nickel corner safety position. He's gotten a ton of sacks this year and now adds an incredible shoestring interception grab to his resume. Unbelievable. Let's stretch the field here. We have the weapons. They have three defensive backs basically on Karan Kirkpatrick. This should leave a lot of other things exposed, and it does not. You can't throw it away. Oh, uh, wow. Our offense has never looked as bad as it has today uh, before last week. What happened against Eastern Kentucky where we just fell apart? I have no idea. Not sure how we're going to convert to this third and 11 if no one on this team can make a play. We're going to go deep, though, and it's underthrown, of course, and somehow intercepted. It's off the hands of a defensive back, then Muller, and then intercepted by Andrew Anarchy. It's wide open down the field, yet Goddard does not have the arm to make the throw. It's, oh, so frustrating. I go, we see it now already. So bad, so bad. I don't know what to tell you. It is what it is. Still no one can wrap up. The first tackler is always a would-be tackler because he's always thrown off. I want to die. It's Texas State, right? Not a and not Texas. Please, make a play on the ball. It's incomplete. Oh, boy. Thank you. All right, we need to get this offense going. We need to start completing probably check downs and then work down the field. It's going to start to get open. We just got to go for our biggest playmaker, and it seems to be Ryan Muller. It was Roland Francisco and Karan Kirkpatrick early, 
but the last couple weeks they have been nowhere to be found and it's been the Ryan Muller show it's been even our backup quarterback playing wide receiver he's made some plays for us as Pedro Goddard gonna keep it himself but this time thankfully not fumble the ball here's Darren Maxwell that's a great run for him 12 yards we need those type of pickups third and three we're gonna go to the running back it's Darren Maxwell breaking a tackle and then being forced down just short we're going for it on fourth and one I wish I could just audible without changing the formation we're handing it off again to Maxwell Hall opens up the middle Maxwell breaks a tackle and picks up the first down there we go Gabriel Timmons hold on God catch the ball please you're killing me I mean nobody can throw and then when we can throw you can't catch uh, can't get separation no one can cover this team is sorry go Goddard we're gonna step out of bounds so maybe we don't cough up the football this time this speed option could be phenomenal we're gonna take it right at the middle Goddard touchdown we're on the board yes we're gonna tie things up at seven after the extra point but finally that's the spark that we needed to get this offense going maybe the defense will start to step up they haven't played terribly they just haven't been very good the offense needed to step up this offense should be able to hang with anybody nearly yet we face Texas State and we can't do anything the first three series it was terrible this marks the start of something new another force throw away on third down probably gonna result in another Texas State punt and the offense can come back on the field and hopefully continue what we started stay in rhythm this is this is go time we got to get this lead now third and eight we are one for four on third down today that's just a terrible terrible uh, record but we got the big tight end and that ball is dropped by Jake Rodriguez we cannot catch a break here it's, I can't even help but laugh because this team has just been performing so painfully bad I don't know what else I can say that's such fantastic pursuit number 95 lightning McQueen let's get another Kachow going to the end zone it's a touchdown I don't understand Eric Luna back in the end zone I need to I need to go into replay mode just so you guys can see the frustration that I'm dealing with just for a minute here just for a minute watch we have decent coverage here obviously wasn't with him but look at look at the ball in the air watch what happens here who is this number 15 that is the outlaw Chris outlaw watch this he just slows down <laughs> he doesn't try to speed up get the ball make a play on it he stops running <laughs> ah, one for five on third down and I wonder why we're struggling today and Karan Kirkpatrick drops it <laughs> yo can you please not keep dropping it every single time you touch it hold on please the screen please throw it I got bumped Oh, that would have been a pick six, maybe. Can't certainly say for sure, but oh, I like my odds. I read that so well. Jones going to take off, and he pays for it. Finally get some type of pressure. It's Ron Wilkerson with the sack. Go deep, Jones. He throws deep down the field, and it's picked off this time. Chris Outlaw. It saves another Texas State score. But you got to worry. You got to think about, hey, with 19 seconds, is it really realistic that we can get down the field and score points? Not sure. Might as well just take a deep shot, see if anything gets open. Goddard downfield and incomplete. He's got an absolute noodle today. I don't know if we're throwing against the wind or what, but he's had <laughs> like 60 arm strength, it feels like. We will receive start the third quarter 
and we got to get something going, man. The offense has been absolutely terrible today. Been non-existent. Here's Maxwell up the middle. A lot of space. He's been decent today. When the blocking's been good, he's been good. Averaging over six and a half on the ground. Might want to start forcing him the football. Third and one. We are going to pass, though. And get sacked. They, they play the contain so well. Thought the run was going to be wide open. And uh, my Maxwell Reed got tackled in the backfield. Man, I have I have played pretty much as bad as my team has today. But what can I say? I'm not a great Madden player. Or SCAA. I don't even know what game it is. You expect me to be good at it? You expect me to be good at it? That's a sack. Thank you. Brought him down in the backfield. It's Brian Mullins. One of our best players, the senior. He took on a double team and still got there. Pressure off the other edge as well, but what a great individual effort to beat the double team around the edge. Pick up the sack. Our defense is stepping up now. They're keeping us in this ball game. Where is the offense? One for seven on third down. Feels like every time we point it out, the number gets significantly worse. Gotta convert now. Please hold on. Ryan Muller, thank you. That's open, and that's a great ball. Finding the true freshman, Roland Francisco. Finally getting him involved. Goddard, I'm not voting for Pedro today. He's been terrible. Here we go. Pick up the block. How do you not block that, Jake Rodriguez? You're the tight end. Stick your head down. Bowl through somebody. Maxwell looking for space. Finding a little bit. Just short of the goal line, however. Good six-yard gain from Maxwell. Going to bring up third and goal from the one. Maybe the half-yard line. We're going to hand the ball off to Darren Maxwell. Hope he can just punch it in. Finding space. Touchdown. Finally. I love it. We're going to tie things up. We got to take the lead, though. Jones going to take off. Ball's loose. Recovered by Ron Wilkerson. Let's go, baby. Defense stepping up, making the plays that we need to. Unreal. Simeon Petty stripped it loose. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Wide open. Gabriel Timmons. He took a huge shot. Holds on to the ball, though. Gotta love that. Don't want to fumble. He dropped the pass earlier. That's been our biggest issue so far, just players not being able to hold on to the football. Also, these throws from uh, Goddard have been suspect on a lot of these plays. But that's wide open! And it's just going to be short. Quincy Rust with the 18-yard catch. Great pass from Pedro Goddard. And how is that not a touchdown? How is that not a touchdown? Here's a handoff. Darren Maxwell again. Nice zero-yard touchdown run there. And we are cooking with grease here. That's not how it works. It's a grease fire. We're cooking with uh, gasoline. That might be a little overkill. We're doing well. 21-14. Eight minutes of game left to play. Can we hold on? Can we extend even? Defense has been playing well. You got to hope that we can. The screen. Gabe straight on the bubble. I don't know what that move was, but it was amazing because it completely confused the guy with a fantastic angle of pursuit on him, and he ended up picking up the first down and more. Need a big stop here. It's a read option, and it's read perfectly. Great stuff from the defensive line. Simeon Petty has been playing out of his mind this quarter. Unfortunately, it is a new quarter, though. So even though Simeon Petty was a beast that last one, who knows what could happen this time. We're going to change up the package here. It's going to be a sprint option, speed option to the outside. And we shut it down. Third and ten. We're going to trust the defense. Play in a cover four of sorts. Just can't get beat to the end zone. And we're beat to the end zone. 
21-21 ball game. Fans on their feet at dual field. And off goes to Darren Maxwell. That was great. Give me a good block. Darren Maxwell gets the first down. They don't have a lot of guys over there. This should be super successful. Unbelievable. Unbelievable play. Unbelievable play by Barry. Unbelievable. We're going to try it again. Yeah, I don't know how he covered both the pitch. There we go. There's Goddard. I don't know how he covered both the pitch and the quarterback. It was incredible. Third and three. Play action. Make the catch. It's rolling, Francisco. Touchdown. Little bit of a, a dicey decision there, but you know what? Pedro Goddard fitted in the gap, and it worked out. <laughs> Thank God it worked out. Oh, what a huge hit. Montreal Gardner laid him out. Think next time about running his way, Stedman Mayberry. You don't get Colt 45 involved that often, but it doesn't matter, because Simeon Petty is back with a vengeance. Another big play for him. A forced fumble, a tackle for loss, a sack. This guy is balling out. Third and 16. Let's go, Ozark State. This is a bad, bad matchup for us. We need players to make plays in one-on-one. -on -one. Going downfield. What does Y do? What does Y do? Does Y not go for an interception? No, it allows Gabe Strade to go 48 on us. Uh, that's going to be a touchdown. Elijah King. The usering in NCAA 14 is really, really bad. At least for me. Maybe I'm used to the bad 19 style of things. But this is brutal. I get exposed every single time. Because nothing works the way it should. It's been a really, really close game. It just comes down to total yards at this point. We haven't kept up with Texas State from that regard. Very similar play count. You know, points obviously 28-28. First downs very similar. As we're going to cut this outside to the left with Darren Maxwell. And it just comes down to our players not blocking. You can easily block and it'd be a huge gain. Just block. Block the guy in front of you. It's not difficult. Second and three. Here's a handoff to Maxwell. Just picks up the first down. And it's a big one. That's open. And Goddard misses him. Come on, Pedro. Please. This is do or die right now. The game is on the line. Someone's just got to make a play. Goddard. Just going to have to throw it up. Come on, man. Nothing is open. That's complete to Anderson over the middle. This game's over. Jones taking off. And this is another first down. Nice read option. No one's even close. 47 seconds to come back, but when no one can catch and we have a quarterback that can't throw all of a sudden, even with three timeouts, it doesn't help us that much. There's Rodriguez. Yeah, obviously not. He's not going to catch that. Decent completion. Didn't get out of bounds. We have a timeout. We're going to call it. Eight seconds. No timeouts. And guess what? We don't have a quarterback who can throw the ball to the end zone from here. So... And he misses him so badly. Uh, third and 20, going to have to be a deep shot to the end zone. Who do we trust? Nobody. Whoever looks the most open. Lobbing it up to Francisco. It's not close, and it's intercepted. Oh, man. That is your final ESPN Classic game. We can't defeat Texas State today. Comes down to just way too many mistakes. Defense played all right today. Offensively, we were terrible. Game rank number two, really. That's an 824 score. 
That's wild. Next week, we're going to take on Louisiana Monroe. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. we got to figure things out. But I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.